Hello and welcome to the solar garden. <laughs> it's actually oh, sunny today. It honestly looks like we're starting a solar farm here. It does, here. doesn't it? <laughs> we're not. We're, today we're taking a look at two all powers power stations. So that's the R600 and the R1500. Now these are the solar gen kits. So that one comes with a 400 watt panel. That one comes with two 100 watt panels. So that's not one panel that's uh, actually joined there. So these two are probably the only first ones i've actually liked from all powers if i'm truly honest partly because they look better they've actually spent some time on the design but they actually work quite good we've been using these two for the last few weeks and they've uh, got, not got anything bad to say about them really right so the first shocker for me was the price of these two looking at anchor and jacker and stuff that's over a thousand watt hours and it's a similar sort of price to what the 500 watt hour jackery is so at the minute that is 599 and that is 209 on their own so i think that is actually really good for for the specs you get it now the kit with the 400 watt solar panel is 799 for those two but the solar panel is 599 on its own so basically if you buy that as the kit you're getting that 600 watt a 600 pound solar panel for 200 pounds so i think that is uh, really good whereas this kit is 399 with the 200 watt panels there so uh, just taking you for a quick closer sort of look you've got four ac outputs there this will power 1800 watts from the ac two usb a and two usb c 100 watt 18 watt dc output for your fridge or diesel heater whatever you're using and two wireless charging ports on top pretty much the same story here but this will power 600 watts off the ac still the same powered usbs you've got a light you've got the uh, the 12 volt cigarette lighter out put thing there for your diesel heater wireless charging on top only one whereas that's got two looking on the side solar input you've got 650 watt solar input on this on this one you've got 220 watts of um, you know capacity to plug your solar panels in so both will charge in an hour if you connect them up to the mains that will charge two hours if you're just running off solar so pretty quick really so if you're on a campsite with that you've, and you've got sun and a panel you've uh, you kind of got unlimited power resources there well you have with that i suppose but just not you know can't power as much you can power like halogen ovens and kettles and things off that whereas that's more for your power tools and hair straighteners fridges diesel heaters that sort of thing good thing about these solar panels is they're nice and easy to fold up they've just at the back you can see they've just got these struts that come out and support it when you put them they just fold up really easily like that yeah so the so, 100 watt ones you can join together with a velcro just like a little carry case so that's good that's really light small. isn't it very light very light yes that one is not light no. that one's heavy but it is a <laughs> for big 400 watt panel so same the, principle on the back isn't it it's got these on the back for the big one but it's a little bit more delicate because obviously that one is still glass the big one so do you want to open up the thing on the back zoe and just uh, i think it's got the bits it comes with as standard if you open that zip so it's got a sort of pouch to contain all your quite useful because you can't lose your cables then either so it comes with all of that various connectors so if you've got a different brand of solar generator that you swap to down the line you can still use these panels because they've got all the different connectors to i think pretty much connect to any solar generator you can think of or portable power station um yeah so I can't help but think that All Power's got their design inspiration from, well that's kind of a cross between an anchor and one of the old Bluettis with the way they, uh, way they look, but but they're still, you know, still nice looking power stations and for that price I think, I think it's at that point in the market where these are like really coming down in price, I think over the coming years you're going to see a big reduction. Whereas the last sort of four or five years, they've been, you know, holding their sort of value battery technology wise. And these, oh, these, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, these are lithium iron phosphate as well. So you can charge these 3000 plus times. So they're going to, you know, they're going to last you a long, long while. What's quite good about these is you've got the flat top as well. So they do fit in sort of underneath things quite a lot. The ones with raised handles are really annoying actually, because they're just difficult shapes to fit in. I know, that's something I was going to say I don't like about the jackeries is yeah. that handle. They make it really awkward to pack in a car or, or even when you've, you've got it in a camper van and stuff, it's, it's handy having a flat top. Yeah, these are a lot easier because this one carry it there and this one little fold out handle, so perfect. So that's got some really deep handles under there and they're, um, 
the you won't be able to see on it but they're all rubber coated on the inside so it is quite comfortable to uh, to carry right just finishing up these are the the packages when they're packaged down just bear in mind each one of those is a 400 watt panel so do you want to pick that up zoe that's and hold it near the panel we'll just go stand next to it that is 18 kilograms <laughs> so it's heavy so yeah it's you'll certainly fit that in your car a lot easier than one of those Definitely. big panels yeah. <laughs> So it is quite a compact, you know, when you consider the size and wattage of panel you get in and yeah, you, can, you can carry it. As long as you've got some sun, well it doesn't even really need to be sunny, as long as it's reasonably bright outside you can recharge that whilst you're away. And that's the little uh, R600 kit there, so it looks tiny next to the panels. But yeah, it's not a bad little system. That price is probably the best price we've seen for a kit like this on the market, to be honest. I can't think of anything else that would wipe the floor as as far as specs concerned where the price mm -hmm. is can you know comparing it with the price so uh, yeah that's the all powers r1500 and r600 links in the description as always uh, right i'll say bye now because we'll probably just waffle 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 and uh, <laughs> thanks for watching